Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate creating horizontal and vertical gaze shots in addition to the circular and semicircular gaze that we already have in the product. Let's go into the authoring experience and then start by adding a new gauge shot. So I'm going to go to the database panel and under the more section I'm going to drag and drop the gauge into the canvas. This is going to show me the grammar for gauge. So let's start adding a few columns to the grammar. Let's pull in sales to the values gauge target. By default, we render a semicircular gauge type. Uh, let's go to the property panel. The type property allows the author to toggle between the different gauge chart types that we have. So I'm going to change from the default semicircular to the horizontal bar. And uh, let's turn on the range labels. Uh, setting to start and end will show the start and end range labels as you see on the screen. There's also a new option to show the all range labels, which essentially shows the midpoint range labels as tick marks in the gauge chart. So I'm going to turn this back to start and end. The font and the number format can for the range labels can be controlled and customized. And also the length and thickness can be changed from the default. So let's go ahead and change the thickness from the uh, default 30 i to maybe a 30 pixel size uh, gauge chart. The rest of the visualization properties apply to um, horizontal and bar gauge. Conditional formatting can be applied. So if you right click and turn on the conditional formatting rule, and if the rule get passed, uh, the data formatting is applied to the gauge charts. Thank you for watching this video.